Welcome to East AC Hockey Insider. I am Ed Krajewski. Today's segment takes us to Houston Fieldhouse in Troy, New York, where I'm joined by engineers Junior Ford, Whitney Wren. Thanks for joining us today. After winning your opening game this season, um, you guys hit a little skid, uh, dropping three straight. Um, over your last seven games, you guys have gone 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. What adjustments have you guys made to um, find this recent success? Um, since our last game, I would say a ton of the work we've been doing on, is on our D zone, just playing man-to-man, -man, how we always do, closing the gaps, where we can, like keep on working on our battles. That's kind of been one of our biggest adjustments. And then coming out in the first period, just like right, right from the gate, like right from the get-go, sorry, and just trying to get lots of shots, get it deep. That's what our main focus, I would say, has been on. You guys have a pretty young roster this season, made up of only eight juniors and seniors, you being one of them. You're on target to uh, reach 100 games this season. What um, have you done in terms of experience to show um, leadership to um, the sophomores and incoming freshmen this year? Um, I feel like as one of the older girls, it's kind of weird, like this time's been flying by so fast, but as a junior now thinking about it, just being there for the younger girls, supporting them, like working on helping them adjust to the speed of the game and just trying to just support them on and off the ice. That's what I've always tried to do. And then now, especially as an upperclassman. Has it been tough for any of the, the freshmen, incoming freshmen, or you think everyone pretty much adjusts pretty well? Yeah, I think everyone, it's like, it's not as hard doing that at RPI, I feel like, um, just athletes, like coaches, even just regular students, everyone is kind of there to support you and is there for you. And I think that's what made it so easy for me to adjust as a freshman. Like I had so much support, so. With a tough trip to the North Country on the horizon, followed by an eight game homestand right here at Houston Fieldhouse. Take us through the mindset of the team on how you guys prepare for this next segment of the season. I mean, I feel like we just go one game at a time. We're looking at like Clarkson and Slew this weekend. Like we know we got to get our legs ready and adjusted coming off the bus and stuff. And I think that that's how our mindset's always been. It's just one game at a time, not thinking about really being at home, but just preparing for the next weekend ahead. Your efforts may not always show up um, in the box score, Describe your game for us. I would say just having a ton of energy on and off the ice, being there for my teammates. I like to skate the puck, cut the net, get my head up and look for a good pass. That's pretty much my game. Hailing from Michigan, what drove you to Troy, New York and Rensselaer? Um, it was just one of those things I got like contact by Burke and I went out for my visit. I fell in love with the campus, like just the athletic facilities are second to none. I just love the atmosphere. So it was kind of a no brainer at that point. Did you have any former teammates that uh, may have played here or that go here or was you kind of the... Uh... No, no, I didn't. I just, I came, visited and okay. fell in love with it. Yeah. Now it's time for our bullet round of questions. Do you have a nickname? Uh, runner. Yep. Your favorite subject in school? Any of my business classes. They're pretty fun. Right. What type of car do you drive? I drive a white Silverado. Teammate most likely to become a coach? Ooh, Amanda Kimmerly. What is your odd pregame ritual? Uh, probably soccer. Me and my, one of my best friends on the team, Shane Tomlinson, we kick the soccer ball up and down. We can't go into the locker room until we get it into a garbage can. Best ECAC hockey rink to play in besides your own? Um, I love playing at Quinnipiac. Hardest slap shot on the team? Hannah Bahonic. Favorite food? Chicken wings. Who was the best teammate to follow on social media and why? Lindsay Hilwa. She always has some funny, like, quick-witted posts. There you have it, another segment of ECAC Hockey Insider. Thanks to our guest, uh, Whitney Wren from Rensselaer. Good luck to the engineers the rest of the way, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.